Welcome back to some of the final K20 C4 content before the motor goes in the car. I have Suki over there. I'm about to get her cleaned up because I want to take the motor out tomorrow. Kind of a big deal, but there is one more important step that I have to do with this motor. With a claimed mileage of only 38,000 miles, if you check these intake runners, you'll see all of these intake valves have some pretty severe carbon buildup. Now, pretty much all turbo direct injected motors are going to have issues with carbon buildup as you're starting to see a lot more of, but signs of premature carbon buildup in this case, two biggest causes are A, not doing frequent enough oil changes and B, running cheap gas. And if I had to guess, also based off seeing the inside of this motor, I would say this person was using the cheapest 87 octane they could find and not doing oil changes like they should have. However, it's not a big deal because it can be pretty easily taken care of either through the use of solvents or the best way is going to be media blasting. So I have a media blaster I got from Harbor Freight as well as some fine grade walnuts and then also have a shop vac with a special adapter. Now this is actually for the N54, but the fitment is close enough that I think I'll make it work. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have the vacuum going here and then you're gonna spray walnuts into there. That's gonna break it down and vacuum it out simultaneously. Here's a business idea. I asked the forums and nobody supposedly makes one of these 3D printed pieces specifically for the Honda motors. So if you have a 3D printer, make one of these and sell them. First things first, getting the motor set up, obviously it's easier with the motor out, but you're gonna need to be able to turn the motor over because you'll notice for example, on this cylinder, the valves are closed, whereas, here we go, on this cylinder, the valves are open. And if you were to spray walnuts into there with the valves open, they're going into your motor and you definitely don't want that. So make sure your valves are closed and you can turn the motor over. Now I have all the other intake runners taped off. First thing I'm gonna do is start picking at the biggest chunks. And I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to show this, but you can see I started a little bit, but you wanna get the bulk of it off just to make it a little easier for the media blaster. And then you're gonna vacuum those bits out. Check this out, after probably just 30 seconds, still got some bigger chunks there. I'm gonna start picking at those again and go over it once more, but clearly it's working. And then you're gonna see some little bits down at the bottom. Those can easily come out with just an air gun, blast them and they should spray right out. Here's a final look at cylinder one after some more picking and blasting. It's not perfect, but it should be perfectly fine. I think a big issue is that, where's the, with this, ideally you'd want a wand that can go further down through this opening. Uh, you'd get a lot more off that way, but I don't have any extension for this right now, but it's definitely working good enough. So. I'm gonna leave this as is, that's gonna be cylinder one, and then we're gonna remove this and start working on the other cylinders. Just look at that difference. Again, struggling to get the top, but I'll do one more cycle of picking and hitting it with the walnuts. This is final result on cylinder two. And you can tell I really went at this one. It took quite a while, just same cycle, picking, vacuuming, spraying, and uh, it came out pretty good. So I'm gonna do the other two and then I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll show you guys the final result. Look at that difference, spotless. And it wasn't that difficult, but definitely took some time and patience. And that's really all I wanted to cover in this video. So those intake valves are clean and the engine is ready. I mentioned before that all the bolt-on accessories can be put on the motor. So I'm gonna put the intake, um, intake manifold on, put on the turbo, downpipe, put everything I can together so that it's just easy to drop right into the car. Well, drop, I should say, raise, because bring it up from the bottom. So 
I also mentioned that tomorrow I'm starting the engine removal and uh, you'll see that soon. I'm not gonna get done one day. I just, I'm probably gonna chip at it whenever I have time, but it's certainly going along. So, oh yeah, and I have that giveaway coming up. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing if you're interested in the weird car things I do. And I'll see you in the next video.